we got 15 inch 2017 18 model today so it's had a liquid damage and it's not turning on it just tested 5 volts and reboots you can see um, let's see the second port same situation Just this at five volts. Uh, had a liquid damage, so let's have a look inside. We already quickly opened it in front of the customer to confirm the the fault. You can see some liquid damage over here. Also, customer already went to the Apple store and they recommended her to buy a new one. There is some oxidation here as well. So, um, considering the amount of dust over here, let's take it apart and. Uh, release the mother motherboard so we can investigate it a bit further. Check the board on the scope. Let's see what we're gonna find. So we can immediately spot the liquid on this side. Usually, it um, recurs on the other side as well. And this, this is the reason why we recommend that annual service of the machine because all this dust over here creates a mud like um, environment when there is a liquid damage. See also there is a quite of a liquid damage area. So let's jump under the microscope and start cleaning and replacing those components. Yeah, we can see quite of a corrosion over here around the CD32 chips. First step is to clean the area and reflow it, hope, hoping that we can get rid of the oxidation and corrosion which might have gathered un under the chip. So we go around and touch up all these corroded components and, and replace any resistors which, which might have uh, failed. There, there were also a couple of other areas where the, the liquid had went through and corroded and uh, require us to go and clean and basically touch up each component one by one which had some kind of corrosion or exposure to liquid. You see even inside of that um, connector which is the touch bar um, connect connector also there was a quite of oxidation in there which we need to go and, and manually clean um, on the other side unfortunately the cd3215 had a short circuit so that's why we went around and measured but then once we removed it we, we could see that the short circuit um, was gone so it seems like that uh, little resistor over there was was also shorting. So we went and re replaced those and cleaned the whole C3215 area. This USB-C charging chips are extremely sensitive to any, any kind of misbehavior around the, the USB ports. And not, not only with MacBooks, uh, just this week we got to Lenovo's with a USB-C charging failure. Extremely unreliable technology, but seems like it's been mandated now. So it seems like we're done with the board. Let's assemble it and test. Alright, so we got the initialization with the CD3215 chips to 20 volts, but still Mac is not turning on. So um, this model comes with a T2 security chip. Quite often when the connections are um, damaged or short circuiting, um, <clears throat> we, we get corruption on, on the DFU. So let's try to restore it and see how it goes. 
right so the next step is to uh, re revive the device by going into the DFU mode so um, the, the USB-C um, has been replaced the, the charging port so now because of consistent attempts to try to um, restart the device T2 looked like it got corrupted so uh, by going through the D DFU mode we will reflash the T2 and hopefully that will preserve customer's data so let's see that's how that was gonna go I can see that it download the bridge OS and now it is installed it into the T2 Right, so installation of the system is going on and we can see that the Mac starts firing up. Fan starts spinning, we start pulling the charging current which was stuck at 0.1 before. And uh, it's hard to finish installation of the system. There you go, we just hear the, the chime. It went into the operating system booting mode, almost 3 amp battery charging current. There you go. Beautiful. I disconnected this one and the the system is loading. So I'm just gonna write the user's name here. We finished repairing this 15 inch 2019 MacBook Pro, which had a liquid damage, and um, now it's good to go. We, we have to also uh, wipe and reinstall the operating system because the T2 secure chip was corrupted. But once we went through that, <clears throat> the system is uh, fully operational. If you need the service, all the information is in the description. Thank you guys for watching.